Morning, guys. Have a good day. Every half second, another student can walk through new metal detectors at Seminole Ridge High School, a new normal to start the school day. I, I just think it's a natural evolution of doing everything we can to keep our students and our faculty safe. Principal Robert Hatcher volunteered to be one of the first schools to test the equipment, along with Palm Beach Gardens, Palm Beach Lakes, and John I. Leonard High Schools. He's using summer school to train staff before the first day of school, learning the items that will set off the detectors, like laptops. It's a, it's a small sampling, but it has proven to be invaluable for us to run through the system and you know, make sure everything is dialed in the way it needs to be. If you're worried about delays, these metal detectors are calibrated specifically to not alert for my cell phone or even my jewelry. It's really looking for items that are not supposed to be in schools. It breaks your heart because um, it's changed so much. Cindy Walker's kids and now grandkids have walked these halls. While it's hard to accept metal detectors are at Seminole Ridge, she's glad they're here. It's just, it, it, it brings you peace peace of mind that your child's going through this, that they're going to be safe when they come through the gates. We don't want our campuses looking like prisons, but this is kind of a seamless technology. If you can implement it correctly and the kids are just walking through it, it it's very non-invasive. School police chief Sarah Mooney says she expects some growing pains the first few weeks of school, but does not expect big backups at school entrances. Each entry point will have at least one detector. Wait, this is not like a gotcha thing. We want people to understand we're trying to add a layer of security within the district. This is a, a test phase to see if we can do it efficiently and effectively without disrupting you know, things. If something does set off the machine, the student will bring their backpack to a private area to search for what may have set it off, and police will get involved if necessary. While this isn't foolproof, Hatcher hopes it will bring some comfort to students, parents, and staff. If there were a magic wand, we'd have done it 20 years ago. Um, this is just another step and another evolution in making schools safer. And so far, these detectors have not found anything that should not be in school. The testing will continue until the first day of school when the pilot program officially begins. Reporting at Seminole Ridge High School, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.